Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very highly requested video, my Belizean panadas using maseca. The first thing I'm going to make is the sauce to put on top of the panadas. For this recipe, I'm using one large onion that I diced up. The amount of sauce you're making all depends on how much panadas you're making. I'm going to add 3 chili peppers to this. I would like to add more but my hubby doesn't really like to eat a lot of pepper so it's mainly me eating this. But you can add habanero or any of your favorite kind of pepper. I'm adding 1 cup of vinegar but I was just eyeballing this because I don't really measure for this. So you're going to need like 3 quarter cup instead of 1 cup and a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix everything together. As always I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. Ok let's cook up the fish. You're going to need 1 tablespoon of oil and I'm just using canola oil. You're going to need about 2 tablespoons of chopped onion. I'm going to cook this until it's lightly brown. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching and if you're new, thank you for stopping by and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Shirani. I'm always sharing stuff over there, so come follow me. I'm going to add some tilapia fillets to that, but you can use any kind of fish you like. Just make sure to use some kind of boneless fish. By the way, I'm cooking this over medium heat. I'm just letting this cook for about a minute or so and then I'm going to season it. Well, what a surprise. Look what I'm using. <laughs> I love the seasoning. I use it on everything. I'm going to leave a link to it in my Amazon store if you're interested. But it's really good. I use it in a lot of my Belizean cooking. Of course, if you can't get your hands on that seasoning, you can use whatever seasoning you like. It's all up to you and how you want to season your fish. All you have to do now is keep stirring it and break up the fish while it's cooking. And this doesn't take long at all to cook. This took about 8 minutes to cook total. While this is cooking, let me tell you a little story. You know, I always have a little story to tell. <laughs> so when I was growing up in Belize and we used to make panadas, we used to make it with canned fish. 
Anne, I mean sardine. Yes, I know, but he used to be so nice. The reason we use sardine, or how we say it, sardine, is because we lived in the country. We live back the bush, how people like to say it. Hey, I like live back the bush, you know. <laughs> but the stores weren't close by, so we would have to go to this little village to buy. And they didn't have fresh fish to sell, so, you know, you would get the fish in the can. And we used to use sardine, but it was so good. Oh my gosh, them panadas were nice. And you know, them panadas used to be so special because the shops were far away so you would have to go to the village to buy. And it wasn't even that close. It was like, I don't know, at the time it felt so far away but I think it's like a mile away. But then you would have to walk to the shop and then, you know, buy your can and buy your sardine to make panadas. So making panadas was like a big deal because, you know, all the things you have to do to get it. Okay, now that my fish is cooked, I'm going to set that aside. So you're going to need something to put your panadas on after you spread it out. I'm using a piece of wax paper and I'm just putting it on a cookie sheet. You just want to have something big enough to hold the panadas. When it comes to pressing out the panadas, I like using this tortilla press because that just makes it easy. But if you don't have one, you can just use the bottom of a frying pan or a dish or something like that. But this just makes it so much easier. I have this metal one and I also have this plastic one. I like them both, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the metal one. And I have both of them linked in my Amazon store. If you're interested, I'm going to leave it below for you. You're also going to need a piece of plastic to spread the panadas on. Because when you put it in the presser, you don't want it to stick on there. So you need something. And I just like using a zipper bag. And this is a quart size bag. And what I do is I just take my scissors and cut the top off. Then you're going to cut both sides open and just leave the bottom part attached. When we used to make panadas back home in Belize, we used to cut the plastic into a circle to fit the presser. But I find that you don't need to do that. Like a quart size zipper bag works perfect. But again, things were different. You had them big plastic bags. You know, so you would have to cut it to make the circle to fit the presser. Okay, so this is the maseka I'm using. And this is the one I use for tamales, panares. I use it for everything. So you're going to need two cups of maseka. one teaspoon baking powder and one packet of my favorite Goya seasoning again mix that together Then you're going to add one and a half cups of water. Now this sazon that I always use, the con colancho e achote, is not something we would typically use for panadas in Belize. Usually we would just use the achote or ricotta, but mostly the achote just to give it the color. But I don't have any and 
I've grown to love this one that I'm using now. I don't even use the achote anymore just because I like the color this one gives it and I like the flavor it gives it. And the achote we use in Belize doesn't have any flavor in it. It's just the color, just the anato. So yeah, but this one, this one has seasoning in it and I like it for that. I wanted to measure this out so you could see how much it is just in case you're using prepared masa that way you have an idea how much to use so this two cups of maseka will give you about one pound 4.3 ounces Now I'm just going to pinch off a piece and make balls for the panades. And this is up to you and how big you want your panades. I don't like them too big or too small, just somewhere in the middle. If you know anything about panades, you'll notice that I'm making it different than how I made it in my other video. And I'm doing it different because I want to show you different ways to make it. In my other video, you'll notice that I made it with cabbage, but with this one, I'm not. I'm going to leave that video link below so you can check it out and you can see the difference in the panades. In that other video, I showed you how to make it with prepared masa, but a lot of people say they can't find prepared masa where they live, they can only find maseka, and they wanted me to make a video showing how to make it with maseka, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, to press out the panadas, you're going to take one of the ball and put it on one piece of the plastic and take the other piece of the plastic and cover it and press it down. It always comes out a little bit uneven, so I just keep turning the plastic and press each side until it's the same. Take one spoon of the fish and put into the masa and don't put too much otherwise it will be hard to seal. Flip it over and press the edges to seal it and make sure you seal it really good because you don't want any of the fish to come out when it's frying. I'm not sure how people press it to get it even in one press. I've tried a number of things. I tried putting the ball closer to the edge, farther away from it. I tried different things but it just doesn't seem to work for me. So if you have any tips on how to do that, please leave it in the comments and let me know. I would appreciate that. When you're doing this, you're going to be tempted to add a lot of fish, but it just doesn't work, you know. You just don't want to have the fish coming out of the panadas when you're frying it. But you at least want to see your fish because the worst thing that can happen is if you bite into your panadas. You know, a lot of time the panadas look nice and puffy, and then when you bite it, you barely see any fish.
I have to say, I think I like panades more with maseca than with the prepared masa. I feel like the maseca just gives it a lightness and crispiness, and I really like that. Because if you know about panades, once it gets cold, it will get soft, but not with the maseca, it will stay crispy. Okay, let's fry these up. I'm going to fry them in my deep fryer and I'm frying four at a time. I'm going to fry these for two minutes on each side. When you heat your fryer up, you always want to make sure you heat up your basket in the oil. And you don't want to be turning them up and do a lot of stuff. Just let it fry on one side and then turn it over and let it fry on the next side. If you don't have a deep fryer, I'm telling you, it's worth getting one. I use this all the time and I fry so many different things in it. And the things, they just come out perfect each time. Since I've been married, I've always had a deep fryer, so I don't think I've ever fried panadas on the stove. <laughs> I always get asked where I buy my deep fryer from, but they don't sell this one anymore, so I'm going to leave a similar one linked below for you. Oh my gosh, I wish you could hear how crispy this is. So the way you serve this up is just to put some of the sauce on it and eat it. And you can put as much or as little as you want. But I like to have pepper on mine, so that's how I'm eating it. This sauce had a little bit too much vinegar, so I would put less vinegar next time, but I was just eyeballing it for you. But like I said, the measurements are going to be down below. I so wish you guys could taste this. It's just so light and so crispy. Oh my gosh. They were so good. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. It helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.